What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I haven't done one of these in a while, but we are doing a back workout. So, I figured I'm training Grant today. He is behind the camera. Say hi, Grant. What's up guys? Can you hear me? <laughs> Hello? Check one. All right. And uh, we decided that uh, we're doing this training and stuff and um, I didn't want to like vlog the day because we're this is like actual real, you know, I'm trying to teach him how to do this stuff. We're like trying to film it at the same time. It would have been a little complicated. So, Instead, we're gonna get a little bit of practice in here, show you guys a back workout, and have a little fun. So today, we're gonna do some back and some biceps. So, I'm putting on my Versa grips right now. If you guys do not know what these are, essentially, it is a wrist wrap that'll take a lot of the pressure off of your biceps and really help you engage with your back. I'll be using these in case you're wondering. These are uh, incredible. So I recommend picking up a set if you do not currently use anything like this on your back workouts. But enough talking right now, guys. Let's go ahead and get this workout underway. You guys ready? Let's do it! First exercise we're gonna do is some lateral pull downs. You guys, almost every, that's gonna hit me in the head. Every, uh, be careful by the way, these things do not tickle when they hit you in the head, especially when you don't have any hair there for a cushion. I love starting more guys out with lat pull downs simply because I feel like, one, it's a guided movement, two, I kind of adjust the weight and go pretty light, and I really, for some reason, feel that stretch, especially when I'm using these. So, I'm gonna start with, let me see, probably put about, we'll start with the old 11 on here. I think that's a good starting point. And then I guess I'll give you guys some tips too when I do these. So you can see how this kind of works, right? I wrap that around it and like see how I don't have any grip on it, but it's still attached. That really helps me be able to just pull with strictly my back. So grab this, come down. And then the point of this is when you go down, it's all the way and then all the way back up. You want that full stretch in there if you really want to make the most of this. I see a lot of people that do these and they're just kind of like, you know, doing something like this where they really use their body and they jerk it. All of that's no go. You want to just straight and then when you pull it down, you should really feel it in your back and upper traps if you do this correctly. Ah, so. Not too bad, set of 15. Almost every exercise we do today, we're gonna be doing sets of four with. So, probably a little bit of volume, but we're gonna try to focus on going heavier today, but yeah. <laughs> Good way to start it. We have an adequate enough pump now, so we went ahead and switched to the cutoff shirt, but I'm gonna have him actually film some of this, that way you guys can see kind of how my back looks as I move through this. So, we are heavier, by the way. We went from the first set of 11 on the plate thing, to now we're down to 15, so. Yep, give me a nice look at that. <clears throat> All right, let's do this. Done with those. What are you doing here, Mindy? It's a Saturday <laughs> and I'm here. We're in here getting big things done, huh? Yep. What are you hitting today? Legs. Legs? Woo, look at those. I seen you squatting earlier, girl. You were killing it. Putting a lot of these guys to shame. I try. <laughs> well, how's everything been? Good. Good? Very good. I think these people miss you. Hi everyone, I don't even know who to say hi to now. Right, how about, if you guys wanna see a Mindy video, comment below, we haven't done a workout video in a long time. No. That booty building one was a lot of fun, so I think we could probably do something similar. Yes. Keep it fun. Yeah. Entertaining, full yes. of humor, some cool edits. De so, definitely those. <laughs> de like definitely those. the edits. All right, I'm gonna get back to this workout, but Peace. comment Peace. below. <laughs> Exercise number two, guys. It's actually gonna be a super set. I've been trying to employ a lot more of these in my workouts here lately, having me burn more calories. I'm trying to ultimately do less cardio, so we'll see how it works out. My goal with this new series I'm starting is to see if I can let the diet do all the work and do zero cardio and just weight train, so we'll see, we'll see. But this is gonna call for the first exercise. You need yourself a wide bar. It doesn't necessarily have to be a wide bar if you don't have one. A bar like this will work. Boom, put it on there. We're gonna be doing straight arm lat push downs, really engaging that back, really working it, ugh, working it out. And then we're gonna transition over here to some seated rows, a little twist on them though. So enough talking, I'll just show you. Wide hand placement on knees. Get your Versa grips all locked in. Come out, straighten back, and then just. Uh, 
All back. All right, and then no rest. We come over here. Okay. We're gonna take this bar. Legs locked in. Not quite as straight as you can go with a tiny little bend in them. And you really wanna feel this stretch. So it's gonna be, so you start up here and then ah, all the way back, right? Notice how I rock? We're getting that full stretch. And you feel it so much more than if you just did this, right? Cause that's engaging a lot of your forearms, biceps. But this way, just all ah, back. Get it, buddy. And uh, that's one heck of a superset. Give those a shot, I'm telling you. They're excellent. That's one thing like about my genetics and my body frame. I'm not a very big guy. I'm five foot sand right now. I weigh like 182 pounds. Back was always one of my weak points. Some people are blessed with big backs, big chest, big biceps. Unfortunately, I don't really have any redeeming qualities like that. But I will say, I went from being a stick figure to at least now I have somewhat of a semblance of a V and a wide back. So time, dedication, persistence, anything can be achieved with the right mindset and work ethic. So we have four supersets of this left and then uh, yeah, time for the next exercise, guys. Let's get it! Hey, Rim, what are we hitting next? That is a good question, Grant. We are gonna do these two machines right here. If you follow me long enough, you've probably seen me use these things a million times. We we're gonna do another superset. After that last one, I am feeling good. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Let's see your lats. Do a back flex for us. Whoop. Look at that. He needs a wide load sticker for that man. <laughs> yeah, I wish. I wish. Okay, so what we're gonna do. Ugh. We start off with, this is a seated rowing machine, right? Most gyms should have this, maybe not in this exact format, but almost every gym, as long as it has standard equipment, is gonna have something like this. But basically, we're probably gonna put a little more weight on this, but for demonstration purposes, hey. Once again, so these bursa grips really help. Lock it up, make sure we're gauging just our back. And then when I go through, pull. Fifteen good slow controlled reps. Can we move down into this thing? Go ahead and wrap these up. This is I'm not even sure what this machine is called to be honest, but it does this basically down, boom in, up. So engage in that back. Another <laughs> good superset. Uh, I'm telling you, see how like out of breath and fatigued I am right now? It is, uh, that is one of the benefits of supersets. If you're the type that doesn't do cardio, at least start doing your workouts in a superset fashion because it's only gonna help you burn more calories, raise that metabolism up and all that. I know a lot of people that just work out, like if your intensity's not there, right, and you're spending two hours in the gym, shorten that up. Cause I'm telling you, I get the best workouts in 45 to 60 minutes, more so than I ever did when I spent two hours in here talking and texting and all that so get in there get it done boom 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 I'm telling you guys you'll thank me later all right guys i am officially beat but we're going to keep on pushing keep on persevering because that's where the progress is made so right now we're doing bent over barbell rows pretty basic movement right here but uh, i don't see a lot of people do it so i feel like um it's beneficial and you should implement it if you haven't in a while. All you need is a basic barbell like so, something you bench press with, squat with, whatever. We have 135 pounds on it. But basically, you can do this two types of ways. You can go overhand grip or underhand grip, depending on what you're trying to do. We've already done some underhand movements with these machines, the ones we just hopped off of, so I'm gonna go overhand for this. And it's also wise too, if you want to, you can swap overhand, un overhand one set, underhand one set if you wanna do that. But for the sake of this video, we'll go overhand. So, Usually, put my feet about shoulder width apart, pick it up, stabilize it, get my back straight, and then pull it with your back. Notice how I'm not using anything but my back. Oh. 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 
telling you guys. If you've just been doing machines and you haven't really been doing a lot of free weight exercises for back, game changer, I'm telling you guys. Having to work those stabilizers, stabilize that weight, pull them with your back, not being a guided motion, I'm telling you guys. Give these type of exercises a shot and you'll notice breakthroughs if you've been struggling with plateaus, especially deadlifts, which we're gonna get to here in a little bit. You excited? <laughs> he nodded his head for those of you that uh, can't see him because the lens isn't facing that way. Okay, let's, next exercise. Moving into the final back exercise we're gonna do and then we're gonna call it a wrap on back. We're doing the most important exercise you can do for your back and that is deadlifts. You know how many people neglect these and I was one of them. For years I did not deadlift but I'm telling you guys, this is a game changer for your back. Like I spoke about earlier in the video, if that part makes it in, that uh, the, like, I've never really had a strong back, right? I'm not really a big guy, I never was a big guy. My frame's not very big, I don't have the genetics for it but exercises like this, these heavy compound movements, not only burn more calories than any other exercise, but you get the maximum amount of muscle stimulation. So I'm not gonna sit here and, as you guys know I like deadlifts, I'm not gonna sit here and talk them up too much. I'm just saying, if you haven't done these in a while, you don't gotta go super heavy, you can go light, work on your form. With proper form, these are completely safe. They're not dangerous, just you gotta, gotta get in there and do it. Do you make the best progress outside of your comfort zone, I'm telling you. So, now once again, there's a bunch of different ways you can do this. You can have a wider grip, which or wider stance, which is what I do. You can have a more narrow stance if you wanna do it, but me personally, I like going wide. I do more of a sumo style, and I go underhand on the right, overhand on the left, then I sit here, straighten, and then as I go up, like that. If you can talk clearly after a set of deadlifts, then you're not doing them right. We're hard enough, but I'm telling you guys, not that hard. Step outside of that comfort zone, I know. It's easy to go to the gym and be nervous about what other people think. People are watching you, the people are talking about you behind your back. Like, oh, look at them, they don't know what they're doing, but in all reality, no one cares. It's all in your head. Get in there, get done. I'm telling you, you'll feel a hundred times better. So, anyways, gonna finish these up, do a couple biceps, and then we are out of here. All right, guys, it is time for the final workouts. I got 45 pound dumbbells here. We're gonna do a bicep superset just to get out of here. I am exhausted. Those deadlifts kicked my butt. How about you, Grant? How you feeling? I am sore. <laughs> Very sore. So we're gonna go ahead and hit these now. Standard uh, dumbbell curls coming at the top and twisting. One little piece of advice I try to give is when you come up, twist that inside, almost like you're trying to bring your pinky uh, close to your chest. Really helps with that squeeze. It really helps it activate that muscle. Uh. Drop those. Now we got some 55s for hammer curls. So up. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a super set. So we got three sets left of this and then that is gonna be a workout. So hopefully uh, you guys have enjoyed this instructional video so far. It's not over yet though. I'm gonna finish these and I'll say goodbye to you guys here in a little bit. So wish me luck, <laughs> wish me luck. And Grant, and Please. Grant. Oh. Guys, that was one insane workout, I feel. Incredible, Grant. How are you feeling? Um, incredible but sore. Incredible I mean. but sore, right? Those are those are the best days. When you leave the gym miserable, it's the most pleasurable. Mm. If that makes sense, right? Right it means yes. you're doing your work. So is this uh, is this your walking cane to get out of here? <laughs> walking for, for cane. Back day? It's not leg day, dude. This would be the uh, I don't know. This is my spear. So oh. when someone's curling in the squat rack, there whoa, we go. that didn't work. I'm just like, whoa, pin him to the wall. <laughs> but uh. Hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, today we are training Grant, getting him on the up and up with everything from to James Fitness. And uh, I wanted to put out a vlog today and I want to start my series today, but the way everything's working, this is what, this was kind of the priority. So I promise you guys though, 
very, very soon. My new diet series is starting. I have a lot of cool things I'm gonna announce in that and uh, I think you guys are really gonna enjoy it. So I'm gonna try to bring as many recipes as I can. Training videos, I just really want to, now that I have someone that can like help hold the camera and come here and do these style of videos, I think we can just step the content up to the next level. So that's the goal. Always improve, always strive to be better, always pushing forward, all that good stuff. So if you guys enjoyed this video and you liked the workout style content, right? Because normally I just do voiceover because I don't have anybody to hold the camera. You guys let me know if you want to see more of these because we can make these happen. These are so easy to do. We can do these all the time. So if you like this, comment below right now. Like I said, you guys' feedback lets me know what I got to do. And uh, yeah, make sure you hit that like button as well. And hopefully you guys, uh, like I said, had a good time with us today. So special shout out to Grant. Thanks, big dog. If you no liked problem. his sick camera angles, you guys uh, let me know in the description. And uh, I think he's doing a great job though. So as always guys, don't forget to smile, remain positive, and pay someone a compliment because you never know whose day you could be making better. With that, I am out of here. This has been Remington James Production and I will see you fine ladies and gentlemen at the next video. See you guys.